Lego's version, the going price for a brand new set is around $2,000 on Bricklink. So Lepin's version is about 22 times cheaper than Lego's version. Now let's review this Lepin set in detail. I'll start off with the unboxing. There are 18 bags and one instructional manual. The bags are not numbered, but the bricks are somewhat categorized together in each bag. Now this is a wonderful looking set. It looks amazing at every angle. To me, my favorite part of the ship are the engine thrusters. These 11 engine thrusters look epic together. I don't have LEGO's version to compare, but I believe the color of these bricks are accurate. The deeper maroon red looks fantastic. This blockhead runner is actually large, larger than I thought it would be. It is 27 inches long, 8 inches high, and also 9.5 inches wide. Now let's take a closer look in detail. Let's start off with the front cockpit area of the ship. This front part is a very interesting build. It uses hinges and triangle shaped wedges to create this unique cylinder look. There is something I noticed though. The panels don't perfectly line up with each other. I double checked the instructions of my build and I don't believe I did anything wrong. It is very minor and only noticeable if you study it at a close distance. This side circular piece is a printed sticker that you have to apply on. There is also another one on the other side. There are also two rotating blaster cannons which are completely useless against an Imperial Star Destroyer. The quality of these turrets are not great. The top turret is super wobbly and it comes off very easily. Also this piece is quite loose and can easily fall off. This is not a problem at all unless you play with your sets. Next we move on to the middle section of the ship. It is a very solid build and surprisingly quite detailed for a set designed back in 2001 by LEGO. There are a lot of bricks hidden inside the section which makes it a very solid build. These fins on the side are held on by these circular bricks. They aren't very sturdy and can easily be knocked off. I'm sure LEGO's version will not be a problem and the quality of Lepin's bricks are not 100%. However, it is not a problem when on display. It will not fall off on its own. Another thing I noticed is this satellite dish. It is quite wobbly and loose like a turret. Again, not a problem unless you play with this set. This is my favorite part of the build, but also the most tedious and time consuming part. The construction of the rear part is a bit fragile. Not a whole lot of bricks were used compared to the midsection. Therefore, you have to make sure the bricks are tight. Leopard bricks are near identical to Lego, but there are times when you have to push a little harder to make the bricks stick together completely. If you don't, this rear end of the ship can fall apart easily. What was really annoying was this piece here. There are two of these at the bottom of each engine. They're supposed to slot in these Technic pieces. It is super difficult to push in. I have to use needle nose pliers and squeeze the tip to make it smaller for them to slide in. As a result, some might be loose. I personally would recommend replacing these with Lego pieces. You will need 22 of these since there are 11 engines. The ship is held up by these two stands and two pegs at the rear. They are a very simple design and are sturdy. I am not scared of it tipping over. This Lepin set doesn't come with any minifigures because LEGO didn't have any minifigures with the set when they released it back in 2001. It does come with a stand which you can apply the sticker onto. The bottom section is for the sticker. It is up to you if you want to stick it on or not. For my set, there are three missing pieces. The first two are these black rubber band pieces. They are supposed to wrap around the ends of the cockpit. These rubber bands doesn't affect the ship at all. 
they're just for aesthetic purposes. The last missing piece is this piece. I am missing one which is supposed to go here. So regarding missing pieces, you can easily replace your missing pieces from your local LEGO store or online at BrickLink. You can also contact your AliExpress seller and tell them which piece or pieces you are missing and usually they will ship them out to you. For me, I am missing 3 pieces on this set. You might have no missing pieces or different missing pieces or even more missing pieces. That is something you might have to deal with when buying a Lepin set but most of the time it is not a big problem at all. Here is a quick look at the instructions manual. It is very clear and I had no problems with it at all. To conclude, this is an awesome set. Lepin did a really good job and the bricks, the colors, the scale are very accurate to LEGO's version. At just $92, it is a bargain compared to LEGO's version at around $2,000 brand new. Now to be clear, LEGO didn't sell this set for $2,000 when it first released. I am not sure how much it was sold for, but I'm guessing around a couple hundred dollars. The reason why it is so expensive now is because the set is discontinued. Prices are super high because there are now rare sets and very hard to find still sealed in the box. So some people collect these sets as investments. To end things off, this is one of my favorite builds and had an awesome time building it together. If you're unable to afford $2,000 for a Lego set and want to experience building this set, I do recommend this set from Lepin. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more future reviews and please follow me on Instagram at gilly underscore bricks. Thank you.